Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's the Appleton Oak. This is the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we got a bit of a surprise for you. We're going to be taking a look at Dune from 2021. Dude. Now, we had a ton of comments uh, over the last couple of months for this one on both Patreon and YouTube, and I have never seen it. The only thing I know about it is that they made a not-so-well-received version <laughs> of it in 1984 that had Sting in it, I believe. I think it was 84. I'm pretty sure about that. But, uh, yeah, so they made a remake, which a lot of people really enjoyed. I know it was based on the books by, I want to get his name right. I want to give him his his props here. By Frank Herbert is the author of the original Dune book. So I'm looking forward to it. I know it was popular. I know a bunch of friends of mine in high school were really into it. But I just never had the chance, so I'm excited. So I'm guessing the 80s, this is like one of those cool 80s sci-fi movies that just set, that was like either a, got really like yeah. it, was, it was like a cult following a is what i'm miss. guessing yeah that's what i'm that's what i'm gathering from this i know absolutely nothing about it um like i told him about some of the movies i uh, sci-fi that i haven't seen i got referenced in like family guy <laughs> so it's like so i don't know if it's good so i, I that's might be where i see it you know he's the meme guy i'm the family guy guy so that's how <laughs> i'll probably get to see it but you know what i'm ready willing and able to watch this movie not knowing a damn thing about it i know there's spice involved and that's it <laughs> Spice I, uh, Girls? Don't know I don't know does. anything about this movie. <laughs> I don't know anybody who's seen this movie other than my brother, who has requested that we watch this movie probably more times than all of our Patreons. Yes, he has. <laughs> and YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Fine. So, Will, here it is. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> so, well, here we go. Without further ado, let's go. Spice harvesters land. They ravage our lands in front of our eyes. These outsiders, the Harkonnens, came long before I was born. By controlling spice production, oh. they became obscenely rich. Ah, hey, 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 hey. Oh, we got some traps, maybe? Yep. Oh. So oh, fire okay. some shots some back. Power. Our warriors couldn't free Arrakis from the Harkonnens. By imperial decree, they were gone. Huh, interesting. And who will our next oppressors be? Okay, so oh, people sitting on dear. some kind of natural resources and somebody else wants them and Okay. Oh. Wow, that's cool. Father wants you in full dress before the Empress Herald arrives. Why do we have to go through all this when it's already been decided? Thank you. If you want it, make me give it to you. Use the voice. Mom, I just woke up. Give me the water. Interesting. Oh, so you just like command people when he uses a certain voice? Almost. And a Jesuit skills take years to learn poor. With sandstorms powerful enough to cut through metal, preferring to inhabit the remotest regions of Arrakis, the Fremen share the deep desert with the giant sandworms, known to the Fremen as Shai Hulu. Giant sandworms. <laughs> Is that tr Tremors? <laughs> Are we getting some Kevin Bacon? <laughs> And the other guy? <laughs> Fremen attacks make spice harvesting extremely hazardous. For the Fremen, spice is the sacred hallucinogen, which preserves life and brings enormous health benefits. For the Imperium, spice is used by the navigators of the Spacing Guild. Without spice, interstellar travel is impossible. It's valuable substance in the universe i can see okay. why they would think that everything's gonna look better now versus like 1984 yeah. <laughs> but like they hit us with a lot of information there in that very those first couple of minutes i always love futuristic movies seeing what concepts they come up with for uh aircraft yeah you know spacecraft yep. um wardrobe attire oh. things of that nature because mm -hmm. you know we have movies like star wars which technically was a long time ago and other futuristic movies you know like i mentioned avatar um where we have all the spaceship and tech oh. it's always cool seeing hey the there's brolin is that the guy that's gonna play solid snake uh is that oscar isaac i, I think know. that's who's playing him i stand before you as herald of the change the emperor 
has spoken. House Atreides shall immediately take control of Arrakis and serve as its steward. <laughs> Sounds like Momoa. No, there you go. Yes, I'm going to Arrakis. I've been having dreams about Arrakis and the Fremen. I saw you with the Fremen. So I do find them. There you go. That's a good omen right there. Right? I saw you lying dead. I felt like if I had been there, you'd be alive. First off, I'm not gonna die. You're not taking me seriously. <laughs> That's why you want to come with me. You want some muscle? <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> grandfather said a great man doesn't seek to lead he's called to it and he answers pretty sure that's exactly like a potter quote about seeking power <laughs> and those who seek power no, don't often deserve it mm. are you the new weapons master I'm duncan idaho gone I must make do as best i can oh oh okay some kind of shield <laughs> okay, this is an interesting, different way of fighting. Yeah, what an awesome concept. Ah, the slow blade penetrates the shield. If I had to guess the reasoning for this, I'd say so they can practice with actual blades and not get hurt instead of using practice blades. Yeah. No matter the move, now fight! <laughs> to join me in death your eyes i need to see it in your eyes you never met harkness before i have man brolin hits it out of the park every time oh, oh, here's, here's, you think he's gonna have a blanket of death <laughs> i was expecting him to oh hey look who it is <laughs> polka dot man polka dot. oh who we got here now who this Ooh, guy this dude's all jacked up <laughs> The last of our ships have left Arrakis. Very good. How can the Emperor take everything we built and give it to that Duke? Don't be too sure it's an act of love. So I see uh, they all have a certain hairstyle. Yeah. Okay, so the Emperor is the enemy of Big Dave's guys. Apologize ahead of time, folks, if we get some things mixed up, but it's all new for us, so mm -hmm. have mercy. Oh, wake up. What's wrong? Get dressed and come with me. The sets in this are really cool, though. I will say that. You know, I love the just the way the dressers were with all that wood and then these windows, lamps, everything is really cool. Oh, well, that, that's a lamp. Yeah. Cool. yeah. What is this? The Reverend Mother Guy Selimuheim is here. She was my teacher at the Bene Gesserit School. She's now truth sayer to the Emperor himself. She wants to know about your dreams. Your mother asked me to check your vitals. His heart is strong as ever, my lady. So we're using Mandarin and sign language here. You must do everything that my Reverend Mother tells you. Come here, Neil. Oh, oh so, so she's got the power that she's he has. She's real good at it. Put your right hand in the box. Ah, mousetrap. Am I gonna get it back? I hold at your neck the gong java. Poison needle. Remove your hand from the box. And you die. Not in the box. Pain. Your mother stands behind that door. No one will get past her. <laughs> Silence. I have no idea what happened there, but it was pretty badass. That was. And intense. Oh, it's... And his hand is fine. That looks all right. If you had been unable to control your impulses like an animal, we could not let you live. You inherit too much power. And because you are Jessica's son. You have more than one birthright, boy. Tell me about these dreams. What did you see? A girl. Have you dreamt of her before? Many times. Goodbye, young human. I hope you live. <laughs> There's <Jeez>. things. <laughs> There's like so much stuff going on right now. Even being just this far in, I want to go back and watch the one from the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> he had to be tested to the limits. So much potential wasted in a male. You oh. and your pride. Sorry. You to produce the Kwisatz Haderach. Was I wrong? 
You're lucky he didn't die in that room. If he is the one, he has a long way to go. On Arrakis, we have done all we can for you. A path has been laid. So they must have been like a power couple or something, huh? Yeah, or maybe he has a gift that only the 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 women it of seem, this yeah, typically it would seem get. As if well, that's why I was saying like his parents must be like a power couple because like he's like the man in charge there, and then yeah. she obviously is has this gift, has that amazing gift yeah. that only females can supposed to get, but he can kind of get it too. Yeah. So this would be wow. What does it mean that I could be the one? Thousands of years, we've been carefully crossing bloodlines to bring forth the one. a mind powerful enough to bridge space and time. Well, they said they had air and sea power, and now they needed desert power. Hmm. Remember all the knickknacks? It's been going for a while. You guys can't hear the music on YouTube, but it's pretty awesome. Okay, those uniforms are sick. <laughs> they are pretty cool. Interesting, I don't see any sort of firearms. Yeah, just swords. there's just swords. I was just thinking the same thing. Young master, how does it feel to walk on a new world? Exciting, to say the least. You know, it's just funny. They're not wearing... Well, I guess if you put the shield up, you don't have to worry about having a mask or something with all that sand. Yeah. Trades! Get you out of the surf. They can kill in this place. No, oh, that's oh, cool. wow. It's gonna be like a dragonfly. Uh, exactly yeah. like a dragonfly. Oh, they call, wow. call, it, they call it an orthocopters. I think they called it. This is really badass, guys. I'm I'm totally hooked into this. A little trippy. Shield wall protects the city from the weather and the worms. Fremen cross desert spaces using the sound walk, which emulates the natural sounds of the desert. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So if you just walk. These plants cling to life in a parched, nutrient poor land. Mini spy drone, maybe? Yeah, it's, but he clearly sees it. That was a pretty cool shot. Yeah, it was. Lights. I wonder if it can't see him inside the hologram or something. Smoking something. Oh, he doesn't have his shield thing. Yeah. Whoa. It's a hunter seeker. The operator must be nearby. Hawking an agent was submitted into that hole six weeks ago. Ran the hunter seeker through a water pipe inside the walls. Sire, I failed you today. There's no excuse. You have my resignation. You would deprive us of your talents at this time. Sire, my honor demands. They tried to take the life of my son! He was saying wow. it was my yeah. resignation so I can get out of here. Yeah. Pretty early Whoa, what the hell is that? The thing must leave. It's got like Activate human hands, silence. though. Oh, the cone oh, of silence. She... Well, and she's with these guys now. His wife is under our protection, and by extension, her son. Allow them the dignity of exile. House Harkonnen would never dream of violating the sanctity of your order. I give you my word. We will not harm them. I won't take that word. If the Duke's son lives. Now our trade is will live. My lord, you gave your word to the witch. I said I would not harm them, and I shall not. But Arrakis is Arrakis, and the desert takes the weak. My Arrakis. Oh, no. Oh. Let's be with what that thing in his back is. Smiling like he must know who it is or yeah, something. Yeah, must be Momoa on there, maybe. Oh, yeah. he must be the pilot. Yeah. <laughs> well, you smell. For four weeks, I lived with the Fremen, hidden in the desert in a community called the Siege. Arrakis is filled with caverns, say 10,000 people, and there are hundreds of sieges. Search for them for days. I never saw them. Finally, they sent a warrior out to kill me. I have never come so close to dying. 
They fight like demons. Stop there. Is that hey. Javier? Hey! Still got it. Welcome. Sir, I respect the personal dignity of any man that respects mine. Oh, oh Jesus. <clears throat> Thank you, Stilgar. Gift of your body's moisture. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> Different customs. You got to be, you know, aware. All right, there he is. Have much to offer one another. The guy in the you back. Are all like... You come here for this price. You take it, giving nothing in return. Name what you want. If it's in my power to grant, I'll give it and ask for nothing. Mm -hmm. Do not trespass in our lands. I cannot promise not to travel into the desert if duty compels me. Mm -hmm. But your sieges will be yours forever. <laughs> Looks like That's he's heard that before. I must go. That's <laughs> all I have to say to you. If you stay. You should. You should. Oh. Hmm. Here's for you. The moons here have a magnetic field, so a compass needle won't point north. And still suits and sand compactors and Whoa. all kinds of ingenious things. <laughs> His face is shaved. Who is this guy? <laughs> I don't recognize him. <laughs> That's a sand compactor. <laughs> you admire them. I do. Still suit is a high efficiency filtration system. You wouldn't survive two hours without one of these. It cools the body, recycles the water, lost to sweat. Your body's movements provide the power. Inside the mask, you'll find a tube to allow you to drink the recycled water. Mm. Oh. So the water you sweat out is recycled and you can drink it. Yep. Yeah. It's warm territory. Oh, it looks like it's comb in the desert. Yeah, it's a little bit like gold mining, you know. It's comb. <laughs> you think we're being good old reference is baseballs. <laughs> you think we're being too literal here? <laughs> Worms travel deep but get closer to the surface when they attack. Is that a worm? Big one. You have good eyes. Calling crawler Delta Ajax Niner. Worm sign warning. Worm sign confirmed. Anybody got a visual on the carry-on? There it is. Copy, Alpha Zero. Initiating talking sequence. Hey, these guys do seem pretty calm, and this is just an ordinary deal. Yeah. Be airborne in 30 seconds. Talking sequence initiated. Brace yourselves. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's one of the anchors. It's dead. Unable to live without that anchor. All calls. All calls. Any carry-on in the sector, please respond. Well, you don't have, like, a backup plan for that? Our ships can take six each. It's still three short. We'll find a way. Put seven men each in my ships now. Oh, there's the spice oh mixed God. in. Oh, oh, we're gonna see it here. They're doing like a Jaws. Goggles kind of seem like an oversight. Do well, you think he's getting some of the spice mixed in and he's breathing it in, or? Oh, Holy thing is shit. Oh, like shakes the sand and it sucks you down. Bless the maker and his water. Bless the color. Oh, they're losing the whole thing. Yeah. Wow. I think 400 meters seems a little short. Ah, uh, so those things are massive. You cannot take such risks. Yes, sir. You have responsibilities. I'm sorry, sir. What happened again? Go. Arrakis has seen men like you come and go. Take good care of your family. I had a vision. Well, you keep seeing Zendaya here. He's uh, pretty fixated on her. Yeah, Tom he? Holland's going to be upset. <laughs> I guess we're still kissing with those things in our nose. <laughs> yeah. I have time to take those up. Oh, oh now they did the fake out. Oh. oh, she stabs him in his dream? I thought I saw my death. I know a knife is important. Somehow, someone will hand me a blade. 
What? That was his mom, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, that's Wait, was she had. born out there? I'm pregnant. You can't do that. I barely know that. It's only been a few weeks. I was guessing. Thank you for letting me know now. <laughs> the old double cross. I can't be the only one who thinks of the guy from South Park. Mm, it's coming <laughs> yeah. right for us. <laughs> mm, what was... you got, Biatch? Drop a comment below. <laughs> mm, it's coming right for us. There's something you need to know about Paul. No, I don't think I want to know. Since you brought him before your reverend mother, he hasn't been the same. He's distracted. Now I'm asking you this one thing. Will you protect our son? With my life. I'm not asking his mother. I'm asking the Bene Gesserit. Why are you having these thoughts? Later, this is not you. I don't got a little shook today seeing a 400 meter, meter worm. <laughs> Uh-oh. What we got coming in here? I'm, I'm going to be honest at this point. I, I'm i not doing well, very well at following the plot of this movie. Power. Security. Security. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, that was the woman that gave her the knife. Oh, and he got a... No, oh, the it. shield stopped it. Oh. It's trying to get through. Oh, oh got, got him. him. This guy. What, did he double cross him or did he just find him? Every take his guns off the ground. Go! Oh. Oh. Oh, they're able to get through the shields. Oh. Oh. Jeez. These guys are losing everything. I'm sorry, my lord, but I've made a bargain with the Baron. I had no choice. The organ has had my wife, Mona. I will buy her freedom, and you are the price. Oh, Paul, I will do what I can. I'm going to replace your back tooth. If you buy it down hard, this tooth will crash. Without, you will fill the air with poison. If you choose your moment well, it will also be the Baron's. Hmm. So is he gonna yank one of his teeth out right then and there? Well, he said he had a peg. Had a peg oh, peg. oh, that's yeah. okay. Oh, there's our boy. Oh okay. no! It's just Jeez. clapping guys left and right. Oh. He better uh, get good at using that oh, voice. Oh, boy. Oh, no. That's a lot. <laughs> the they just backed oh. right out of the oh. way. Better get out of the way of that thing. Jeez. Oh, this is awesome. Let me the kid to the world. I give her a long goodbye. Don't you dare touch my mother. <laughs> Don't talk. Remove her gag. Nope. Shut up. Man, they're gonna throw him out there barefoot. He's gonna use the force. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, 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 Kid. They've crippled the ship. 
How they how they cripple the ship? They must be able to shut it down remotely. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Uh, this is Dr. Yue Sam right? If anyone makes it out of Arakeen alive, there's an Atreides speaking to the Frumkin. God willing, they'll be able to find you. The traitor. What do you want? I did it for the Duke and his family. The bargain to the letter. I did it for my wife from Prakken. I said I'd set her free. That you could join her. So join her. Oh no, he's good. Oh. Guy's not real good on keeping his, uh, his word, is he? Oh. Your son is dead. Your concubine is dead. Tonight the house of a trade is full. And your bloodline ends forever. <laughs> oh, he got everybody with that. Everybody in the room. Oh, did the shield protect the Baron? It looked like he got him. No, it started really shaking red, so... Yeah, I think it got He still it. has to be able to breathe through that shield. You'd think. Oh, he knows. Yeah, I see. That's why he put the ring in there for him. Wonder if she was in on it. Wonder if this is Momoa. And he must have got away. And he knew where to go to see all those people. Yep. It's not safe for you here. Will you tell the great house of the land right how we were betrayed? How the best of them were murdered? The Emperor sent us here to die. That's why the Emperor sent them there. He wanted them completely wiped out. Wiped out. Oh, so bloodline. Didn't, he didn't want to do it himself. Yeah. So. Oh. So it's like an air suit or something. Oh, he was up there hiding away from the gas. Who was that? That was the, uh, the Baron. The Baron. Was it? <coughs> Spice in the tank. Well, he's having quite a reaction to it. Shoot the lady that stabbed me. Oh, these are badass uh, yeah. uniforms. Yeah. You know, this movie really hit it out of the park with the costume design and everything else. I mean... There he is. Oh, he's dreaming of himself. Yeah. Little Iron Man ask with the opening <laughs> up of it, showing the face. There's the knife. Oh, oh, oh man. You scared? I can see it. Tell me, please, what do you feel? Oh, buddy, help me, please. I see a holy war spreading across the universe like unquenchable fire. A warrior religion that waged a treaty's banner in my father's name. Get off me! Whoa, Ooh. he used the voice. You did this to me! You better Jesuit made me a freak! My father's dead. That tent must collect water. Oh, it's one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he must collect water too that way. Yep. Yeah, look at oh, that. Neat. Oh, their whole tent was buried. Wow. Oh, yeah. I guess. Oh, yeah, if you're out and out there and the the uh, the wind's blowing, it buries yeah. your tent. We haven't seen a whole lot of cute stuff in that movie, but yeah. uh, it's no. kind of refreshing, if I'm honest. About time. <laughs> I hope so. or Duncan, I, I should start calling him by his Duncan character name. Duncan, Duncan, Momo. my boy. All right. I'm so sorry, your father. We know, my Lord Duke. Oh, 
Yeah. He's got to pledge his allegiance to him. Smart play. Yeah. Somebody get my boy Paul some shoes here. <laughs> uh oh. Ha! Oh, nice. Got him. Duncan's got his game face on now. Duncan! No! Duncan! Oh, no! Duncan, no! Duncan, no! He's locked the door. No! Oh, it's the guy with the tattoos over yeah. his eye. Nah, uh, Duncan's got these guys. Yeah, but uh, uh they just keep coming. Oh, oh, got one in on him. Oh, that's all the way through. He's gone. Duncan! We have to go. We have no choice. Can't believe we lost Duncan. Oh, he's not done yet. <laughs> Bought him just uh, enough time. Yep. That storm out there is your best shot. Stay on top, head south, find the Fremen. I'll go to the next station and report this attack to the Landsrat. How? I'm Fremen. It's like a sandworm was coming that way, didn't it? Is that what that was? I don't know if it was that or the dust storm that she was talking about, but... Uh, what is this guy doing? Oh, he's trying to bring the sandworms rhythmic sounds. Yep, that's what it was. Oh, that's her. Yeah. Oh. Kind of cool. You saw the water from the suit come out first. Here it comes. Oh. Wow. Well, see, they got some cliffs. You know, I think it sure is ingesting a lot of sand <laughs> also, though. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it feeds on the spice, too, that's mixed in with the sand. Now jet flares behind us. Yeah, they're not going to be able to do anything in a sandstorm. Yeah, they can't track them. They're not doing that great in there either, though. No. No. Oh, remember they said the sand will eat away at the at the metal and everything in the beginning. So they're hoping they can get through the sand. Yeah, get high enough. That's why she was saying that, yeah, fear enough. Or fear enough, high enough. The mystery of life isn't a problem to solve, but a reality to experience. We must move with the flow of the process. We must flow with it. Just uh, everything everywhere all at once? Yeah, what the, what the heck happened here? Oh, what is that? Is it an oil bath? Oh, oh, it's for the, uh, for the Baron. We chase them into a Coriolis storm. Winds at 800 kilometers an hour. Nothing survives such a storm. <laughs> so it's done, finally. Sent word to Gady Prime to begin selling our spice reserves. We don't want the price to fall. I have no idea how much it cost me to bring such a force to bear here. I only have one requirement. Income. Squeeze hard. In the Fremen. Kill them all. There you go. Yeah. Woo. Made it. Or not. Uh-oh. Uh, of course one of them wouldn't come out. 
Eh, gliding pretty good though. It's like it's handling like a zero turn mower. <laughs> oh, oh, lost a wing. As soon as we land, run for the rocks. That was the key in Tremors. <laughs> yes, it was. The rocks. Oh, oh. Well, it handled it pretty good, considering. You'd think that he would have learned about the Fremen and how he was watching the video, like the Fremen and how they, they move to avoid the, the rhythmic, uh, the rhythmic. Well, yeah. well, they probably, yeah, but that was if they were close by. And this is I like, suppose they probably figured they had enough, yeah. uh, enough, short enough distance. All right, finally get the still suit on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not, not far off. Now we have to find the Fremen. God, just where do they find all the, you know, all this? Yeah, this this landscape is just incredible. Guys, drop some comments if you know where all this stuff was filmed. I think this is the right direction. Oh, no. Did they not do it right? It's close by. Let's get out of here. Oh. He's from Sam. It's not good. Yeah, I wouldn't have done, done Run. that. Oh, where? <laughs> uh, jump, Sandy, as he, with each Whoa. step, it's making a oh, big yeah, sound. Yeah, look at that thing. Whoa. They seriously underestimated the size of those things. It's a thumper. Someone set off a thumper. At first I thought maybe <laughs> a, he re they recognize him or something. I like, hey, this guy could be our friend. <laughs> like it totally changes the terrain. Then. Yeah. Someone calls it. Do not run. You will only waste your body's water. Oh, it's our boy. Mm -hmm. Stogar. Hey, you know me. I was there when you came to my father's council. We can't touch him. The boy is young. We can't learn our ways. But the woman isn't trained. Paul's doing work. Why didn't you say you were a weirding woman and a fighter? Conversation ran short. <laughs> Peace. Imagina la shit stabra. Lika satsiha. Kaide vi unak. Oh, ah. Mm. Why do they all cut themselves in? I would not have let you hurt my friends. Oh, oh she was hello. there. It is you in my dreams. What are you talking about? <laughs> you look like a little boy. You chose the hardest way up. Follow me. Johnny, take charge oh, of that was the pretty cool. See that they are safe on the journey. Let's go. I will not have them. I invoke the Antal. You may not challenge a Sayadina. Then who will fight in her name? Jamis, don't do this. Where is her champion? Oh, boy. So here we go. We get to finally see him in, like, action, action. Oh, he's seeing everything that's going to happen. Atreides must die. The to rise. When you take a life, you take your own. I don't believe you're the Lisa al Gaib, but I want you to die with honor. Oh, it's the one he saw in his dreams. It's all coming together now. It's made from a tooth of Shai Halud. Johnny. How do I explain this? Yeah, I mean, it took how long for Duncan to, like, kind of understand those dreams, and then even his mom. It's not like 10 minutes in a minute. She's like, oh, yeah, I get yeah. exactly what you're saying. Yeah. 
May thy knife chip and shatter. <laughs> no thanks. Hope not. <laughs> Wow. Old ankle trip. Yeah. Ankle pick. Oh. Little yield! Oh. The boy doesn't know our rule. Ah! There's no yielding on the Diamto rule. Only death is the test of it. Or if he's going to catch him a couple of times, yeah. Ah. Ah. Is he toying with them? No. Cole has never killed a man. <laughs> oh, I didn't think he was going to do it. Ah, not so smug now, are you, Zendaya? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're one of us now. Paul needs to get off world. You must have ways. You have smugglers. You have ships. No. You have it. My father came, not for spice, but for the strength of your people. My road leads into the desert. What? What the Whoa. hell? Somebody's riding it? Are you telling me you can ride a sandworm? What is this? How to train your sandworm instead of... I mean, of maybe if you use the thumper strategically and lay a thumper in, uh, in a s uh, sequential order of... Where you want no, it to remember go. that's why she grabbed oh, she the had those blades, hooks. Yeah, yeah. She was probably gonna ride them to safety. Yeah. So then once she got stabbed, once she got stabbed, she's like, "Well, screw this." Yeah. Oh no! Is that? <laughs> oh, that's the that's the end. <laughs> that you know, was doing for <laughs> gosh for being a world that I know nothing about. No. It was it was incredible to get sucked in. It was a little you know tough to follow. I think initially, as you might expect, you're you know you're watching this. You're trying to put everything together. You're trying to grab names, and there's mythology going on, and stories, and different people, and powers, and voices. And uh, but I think you know halfway through or so we kind of started to get it figured out at least i kind of felt like i had a little bit of a handle on it you know the emperor sold him out but guys i can see why that there's some die hard fans of of this universe because i was thinking about this when we were i don't know maybe 20 30 40 minutes into the movie i was like there's no way that two movies is enough for the world that that we're seeing no. here right now there is there's no way they're done with just part one and part two. I mean, this is this is a franchise I think that could certainly go on for a while. And, you know, something just so new and different. And, and I get it. It's from literature. It's from source material. But, man, it was it was really good. I, the story was great. The acting was incredible. We saw a lot of our favorite, uh, favorite actors in there with Jason Momoa and, and Big Dave was oh in there. God. And... You know, and it's funny Josh because Brolin. yeah, and Josh Brolin. I mean, can't forget about him, Thanos himself. But uh, what was kind of interesting was that, especially with with Batista and and Momoa, they basically played the guys that they that they normally are, right? <laughs> right like, yeah, right. you know, it's like, oh, it's Jason Momoa being Jason Momoa, and you know, if you've ever seen any of Batista's interviews, he's very kind of uh, low key and soft spoken like that. So that pretty much fit him uh to, to a, a t. t yeah exactly but i mean gosh we're gonna be we're gonna be riding sandworms we've got visions of the future <laughs> where we're to, who knows what how the spice kind of you know works into the story it, it obviously affects paul some way mm -hmm. and it you know he, he was getting the sweats there pretty bad do we know when the next one is coming out uh, we can look but yeah we might have to check uh but guys i comment yeah let us know when it's coming because Man, I, I knew people were hyped for this movie when it was coming out. You know, obviously fans of the books and everything, and we're you guys were waiting forever to uh you know for this to come out. And and I, I made a comment in there. I don't know if it made the cut, but it must have been what it was like for people who were fans of of Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and and some of those some of those stories to finally see it brought to life after years because this I think came out in the I think the book was written in nineteen sixty five or sixty four. 
I think it was something like that. So people were waiting a long Quite time. Quite the imagination back then. Yeah. Quite the imagination. People waiting a long time for, for Dune to come to the big screen in a form that does it justice. So I don't know about you guys, but I was blown away. I thought Dune was fantastic. I'm ready to dive into this universe head first, and I, I want to know everything about it. For me, Dune Part 1, I will give it Whoa. four and a half answers. Oh, wow. Boom, it delivered. Um, you know, I love the little tease with when she was using the little thumper to get uh, to get the sandworm in there. Hey, you shut that down over there. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm, I'm, over here. I'm having fun. <laughs> no, I mean, yes, great cast. It sucked, you know, to see some of them go so yeah. quickly. I was because I was really enjoying Oscar Isaac really in this. Yeah, in this role as yeah. the Duke. He was doing a great job. Um, like I was saying, quite the imagination for 1964. Granted, you know, the director had a little fun with it, obviously. 65, 64 you know, is the bringing it, material, bringing it to yeah. now. Um, take a look here. All the, all the fun things. I did look it up. The next Dune is scheduled for next November. So November, I believe it said 17th of 2023. Okay. So we're not too far yeah, we're off. we're not far off. So at least we're not that far behind the eight yeah. ball. 1965. Uh, <laughs> you know, unlike, unlike where we could at least, you know, pump out all the Harry Potter. And the yeah, and this one we got to like wait that. a little bit. So this one, so that's another movie now that we're having that we're gonna have to wait a while. But, yeah. but guys, so much story though. I mean, it's I so, thoroughly enjoyed so it. Big. You know, well, I was, I was gonna say you were gonna like it because this is right up your alley. You love your sci-fi yeah. and your my, mythical quests and stuff like yeah. that, and the coming, and then you love the coming of age story of the hero. Yeah. So classic '80s, you know, all the way. Um, but I loved all of it. The cinematography is great. Just the imagination that they had yeah. for all the ships and everything like that. That was really cool. I'm going to go with 4.25 answers just because I want this to keep going higher and higher. And it's like I'm not going to give it like a six-star match or anything oh, dumb no. like that. So I'm going to go with four and a half – or four and a half. 4.25 answers. So uh, let's see. Yeah, let's see what <laughs> okay You know, my brother has – I and I'm not kidding. He has been on me about yeah. this. He me did, too. You know, he's uh, – <laughs> I was, I was like, in the chair. And he, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, hey, we did this movie. What are you going to do, Dune? When they are you going to do, Dune? 2021. And he yeah. loves this movie. And so, you know, we've watched a handful of movies where, like, right from the get-go, like, they come in big, yeah. right? Like, and so with this particular movie, there's so much world building. Ugh that needs to be done and so i'm going to be perfectly honest with you like so I, I went in with high expectations because so many people said it was good so like previous movies i wasn't <laughs> like oh god you know yeah. so i you know obviously trust all the people on youtube patreon my brother everybody who, who said they loved it but i was just kind of waiting to get into it and it was like okay okay now i understand this now i understand this now i understand this and it, it was a slow build, but I really liked it. I mean, some of the things right off the bat, the visuals, um, uh, the, the, the ships in the cities. And um, do we do we know if this is in the future or the past? Uh, uh, it said it, it was 101.95. Okay. Was yeah. I, okay. I've, I, I, I missed that. 101.95. 101. Yeah. Five. Yeah. They blasted it on the screen. Yeah. Just right. For a second. So we're talking thousands and yeah. thousands of yeah. years in the future. Okay. Well, they have they um, have the ability to go planet to planet. So you know, yeah. that's a, yeah, that's one of the yeah. really interesting. Well, they did in Star Wars, and that took place in a galaxy a <laughs> far, far away a long time ago. Um, but semantic. I think it's really neat seeing somebody's vision Nerd. of the future. Yeah. Right. Like being Sounds able to travel cool. from planet to planet, but. In their buildings, there was still a lot of like exposed stone yeah. and rock, but then they had really fancy beds and projection TVs. Yep. Um, but they fought with knives. But they fought with swords yeah. um, and, and lasers. And they had a laser cutter yes. that cut through. Yeah, the laser so. cutter. So I'm guessing uh, if we learn more about that entire uh, world, and when I say world, I mean all the other planets and everything else, maybe they have other advanced weapons. Gotta get those spices. That's we, a hot we, we do know. Um, you know, anybody that's into, you don't have to even be into firearms, whether you're into mechanics, firearms, anything that's got moving parts uh, is not a friend of Sam. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it made sense that um, that they weren't using traditional firearms. Now, of course, um, you know, we have military forces um, all over the globe in the Middle East where there's, you know, obviously lots of sand, but not 
like these massive yeah. 800 kilometers per hour yeah, sand that would storms. just eat through metal that would eat like through metal saying, that yeah. sort of thing um, so I, I really like that um, the you were like, yeah, is that a dragonfly? And I was like, <laughs> but it would it would make sense yeah, with that um, yeah. you know obviously you still have engine components that need to move up and down, but as far as you know us just expecting to be some sort of turbine powered or something, nine thousand years in the future. But again, I really enjoy watching um, different people's interpretations of what the future might hundred percent. Um, and so that was neat. I liked as the story developed. It was a slow develop. Okay, why are these guys taking over? Okay, well, the emperor wants this particular house taken out, and how he's going to do it is have them take over the planet, have the other guys yep, take the planet back. back. Mm -hmm. I um, it was a slow build of the story about um, about uh, Paul and how you know he might be the chosen one yeah. and coming into his own. I like the father's character. I love Jason Momoa's character. Um, and you guys are both absolutely right. It just felt like Jason Momoa. <laughs> like, hey, you want to hang out and uh, do a movie? Yeah, yeah. What's what's what, what do you need me to do? Actually, just we're just going to put you in the suit and like just be you. You know, just 100%. You, 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 you do have, have to shave. shave. Yeah. You do you have, have to shave the beard. You have to shave. Um, wow. I'm going to so, need a couple extra. Yeah, yeah so I I, th I thought it was a good movie. I loved um, I, I loved the way they finished it. It was kind of like, it was the beginning of th this story, but kind of was setting things up for what's coming next. Sometimes I think like too big of cliffhangers when you know you have to wait like two years. It's like, come it's on. Like, oh. Yeah, like, totally. You know, make it like chapter one and chapter two. Don't make it like, yeah, on next week's episode. Yeah. You know, where you're yeah. like, oh, come on. Yeah. Um, so I thought they ended it really good, especially with somebody riding um, sandworms because so. the, the tease because of the tease that was that was really cool with the so, doctor I, yeah. forget her name. I the doctor, um right? i don't know that i i loved it quite as much as these guys but i'm definitely going to give it a good score and i'm definitely excited about the next one because i feel like for the next one it's like now we know this world yep. you have an understanding we know so all the players you don't spend yeah. so much time like trying to figure out what's going on here and anybody who's watch this channel knows that's kind of our thing right like there's a lot of reactors out there that kind of do do their things but we're very verbal about you know kind of walking our way through the movies how we think our uh, things are going to play out what we think is developing and i had a difficult time with that for this yeah movie. it was tough at first and it, so i i feel like for the next one it's like yeah. i know what i'm expecting a difficult time with it i'm already yeah. i'm already excited yeah. you, about you that. can kind of kick back and enjoy right. it a little mm -hmm. bit more absolutely think, yeah. but i'm still gonna go i'm still gonna go four hey, answers four is a great score i'm yeah. still gonna go this, four this, answers because yeah. even though like it's it like a little bit slow it. for me mm -hmm. and it was a lot um to try to pick up on the direction they were headed i thought it was a really great movie had a lot of really great components so still a four answer yeah. movie for me and i am pumped for the next one um you know it's a, it's an interesting thing with us watching all of these um these franchises uh that still have a few left to come yeah, out to go so yeah. we still have a couple of fantastic beast movies we don't know when they're coming out maybe yep. another pirates movie might be mm -hmm. coming out yep and we've made a commitment to doing these series for the channel yeah so <laughs> these movies are going to come out in the theater like we're going to come to the theater i'm no. like oh, are you guys going to go see dune part two uh, no we we're can't gonna, we gotta we wait gonna, we're going to watch for the channel we're going to watch it with our friends from across the globe who are uh, who are going to enjoy it along with us yeah. but uh so no we we talk about when it's coming out yep. in the theaters but i think we have to make a commitment so look right for our now. action in early 2020 <laughs> yeah. we're, we're probably not going to be seeing it in the theaters but yeah. uh again i loved it i think these guys loved it so uh, a really solid movie here in i think it'll be good as long as it follows in the footsteps of how good tremors 2 was <laughs> now i can't stress this enough with how good it, no i can't wait to see dune 2 and let's ride the done. dunes what a what a thing just a cameo just, just a, a cameo, cameo. <laughs> can we oh, can we please kevin please, bacon in his just denim get a kevin suit. bacon yeah. And Reba McIntyre, <laughs> even if they did, it, even if they just did it like they did Aaron Rodgers in uh, Game of Thrones, where he's, where he's just like a, a he's just yeah. in there for a split second. Was that Kevin Bacon? I think yeah. that was him. <laughs> 
Yeah, please. I mean, honestly, guys, I feel like we could sit and talk about this movie for we another could. hour. Yeah, it's it is here. pretty solid. So, so much stuff but going thank, on. You know, thank you for all the comments and love for wanting us to watch this movie. We thank you because we had a wild ride, as you could see from the scores. Yeah. So for Appleton Oak, Mason Quinn, I'm of course the answer. Good night, pals.